An individualized program plan is created based on the strengths, challenges, and interests of a student. Um, a team would get together and uh, create that. It's all about collaboration. That team would consist of um, teachers, administrators, parents, um, specialists, and often the student themselves. We discuss uh, what we know about our student in terms of their strengths challenges and interests, and we also look at their aspirations in terms of uh, what they would like to do after they complete uh, high school. And we're always thinking about how we can create outcomes and meaningful programming that um, promotes independence as we are teaching our students how to be contributing members of society. One strategy that we use often to teach the outcomes in the student's IPP is a functional life skill system. It's basically a system that would promote daily independence for students. If you'd come into a classroom or a learning center, you would see the life skill system. Um, it consists of a shelving unit that would house multiple bins. All bins are labeled with an appropriate number, um, and each bin has tasks in them, and the tasks would match. Um, the outcomes for that student's individualized program plan. So the tasks aren't just busy work to say such, but they are meaningful and respectful and tied to the individualized outcomes for that student. When a student enters a classroom, uh, they would check the schedule to, to look at what the number is on the schedule and then they would match that to the cor corresponding bin that is on, uh, on the shelf. They would remove the bin from the shelving unit and they would bring it to a designated work area where they would complete the task independently. They would then check their schedule and continue the process of completing, completing the, uh, the bins until they've done all the tasks uh, allotted on, on the schedule. They are working on um, pre-vocational skills, um, life skills, um, tasks, daily tasks that promote independence, um, all things that create employability um, and, and, and help them towards becoming contributing members of society. We can change activities as the students have demonstrated mastery of, of the tasks, but the whole idea is that the students, is, the students are working through a sequence of, of tasks without having somebody to prompt them. The system is first taught to the student by teachers um, and educational program assistants so that we are promoting that independence. Um, once the student has mastered those tasks, then they would do them independently. Um, the idea is that it um, that they they gain independence, self-esteem, they feel successful, um, and eventually the tasks would be generalized in additional settings, such as around the school, in stores, restaurants, and other places in the community. Folding, sorting, organizing, those are all important skills that certain employers need as our, um, as our students become adults and they're looking to gain employment. So each task is created with that end goal in mind. So if we had an outcome on an IPP that dealt with sorting and matching, you might see a corresponding activity with matching the same colored socks. They could be sorting papers, sorting uh, cutlery, which would support them uh, with their pre-vocational skills that would eventually help them in the community or if they were uh, being employed at a restaurant. You might have a task bin that um, promotes money skills. So the idea is that the student would do it in this classroom or the learning center, they would work on it independently, and then um, they would generalize that skill to the community. So if you're working on money skills, um, the next step would be probably purchasing something in the school, going to the cafeteria, taking that skill that they've learned and generalizing that in another setting. Um, so then you might move from the cafeteria and then you would um, perhaps do a life skills outing to a store and have that student um, take that skill learned and generalize that in a real life setting. You know, maybe we've taught them how to play a certain game or the skills necessary uh, for a leisure or recreation type of activity and they're able to uh, be included with, with their friends in, the, in, a, in a situation that they've always wanted to enjoy. Uh, there, there's nothing more rewarding. You know that the outcomes that are created are being worked on daily. You know that the student is working independently. You know that they're feeling successful. You can see it on their faces. You can see it on the staff 
spaces and I'm sure parents can attest to the fact too that they are building that independence. It's important to know that uh, the functional life skill system is just one strategy in teaching uh, the outcomes in a student's individualized program plan. If you would like to know additional information about the functional life skill system, um, you can contact your program planning specialist for your unit and we'd be happy to assist you. Way to go. Thanks for having far. When we see a student working independently, there's nothing more rewarding.